Eric Hailstone here. Uh, when we last met, we were showing you a system based around this, the THR10 portable guitar amplifier. This combined with an MX49 keyboard, a laptop and a guitar, and we have a portable recording situation that sounds great and it's capable of giving you professional results. Well, now we're gonna step up our game we're going to start by adding a set of Yamaha Studio monitors. And these are at a quality level where you can actually master your recording. We're also going to add a mixer that's going to up the types of inputs that you have. We're going to add a Line 6 effects device called the HX Stomp. And although known mostly as a guitar effect device, you can also use it on human voice so you can add delay and reverb and different type of processing as well. All in all, this is going to take you to the next level. Let's take a look at our monitors. These are the MSP5 Yamaha Studio Monitors. It's a two-way system it's using a five-inch woofer and a titanium tweeter. We've got 40 watts for the low end, 27 watts for the top end. You'll notice We've got bass ports here, a bass reflex, so the low end of this is pretty amazing. The top end, if you feel it around this tweeter, you can feel curves that control the dispersion of the sound. So when you're sitting in front of your monitor, you'll get a great sound stage for mixing. Down below in back, you've got several controls, on off being one of them. You've got a low cut and boost, and then we have inputs for these standard types of connectors. So you have a tip ring sleeve connector, quarter inch. You have a standard XLR connector for the three pin input right here. Follow this cable this way, and we're gonna to come to this mixer. This is gonna be the next thing we're gonna talk about. So we just showed you the speakers. We follow that cable over here, and we come to the mixer. This is the Yamaha MG10XU. And it's a great mixer for a small studio or for a small live performance. You've got four XLR microphone inputs and these have D pre's, class A preamplifiers. They sound terrific. You've got additional stereo inputs. So our MX49 keyboard could plug straight in here. You've got collectively 12 inputs, four XLRs and the rest of the stereo inputs. You've also got in the back a USB connector. You can use this as your audio interface, record directly to your DAW in your computer. You've got 24 different effects, reverbs, plate reverbs, hall reverbs, all different types, spring reverbs, delays, combinations of those things. You can do all of that with this mixer. If you go down a channel strip, you've got a pad control, so if the mic is too hot, you can hit this button and bring it under control. You've got an 80 hertz cut, so you can take the low end off. So if you're using it live and you're getting rumble from a stage or from a microphone stand, hit that switch and that will take it off. Gain control is how you tune this input for the particular microphone, just to get it perfect. And then we have on these first two channels, one touch compression. Normally with a compressor, there are several different parameters that you'd have to adjust. With this, you turn it and it intelligently does the work for you. So if you wanna punch up a drum or bring a voice under control or bring some life to a guitar, you can do that with this one control. On the microphone inputs, you've got treble, middle, and bass, so you can fine tune the frequencies of, of these channels. You then have a control for the effects. The effects are SPX, Yamaha SPX effects. They're legendary. They've been around forever, and they've just gotten better and better and better. You have a pan control, and then finally, a level control. We come over to the side, and you have inputs and outputs. So we can send XLR outs, we can send quarter inch out, we can send headphone out. We have control for that. 
and we can use this also for the monitors. So you can have one level control for your recording, one for the effects, and one for the monitors as well. There's a switch here for phantom power. So if you're using condenser microphones, you're good to go. This will send phantom power down the XLR cable. You've also got two sets of RCA inputs. So if you want to use an MP3 player, like if you were using this in a live performance situation, you could use these connectors for that. You also have a foot switch jack right here, which is really interesting. A lot of times people will see that and they go, well, what's that for? Well, if you're performing live and you've got a ton of reverb on and then you go to speak, no one can understand what you're saying. So you hit that switch and boom. Uh, we're gonna show you how to use this recording with the computer here. So we started this event off looking at the THR10 guitar amplifier fantastic battery powered portable amplifier that plays back full range audio has the usb interface so why would we add another guitar product well this the hx stomp made by line six instead of having a half a dozen or a dozen amplifier models here we've got 300 different effects different models different impulse response. We have all kinds of capabilities. Impulse response allow you to have a collection of different speakers from different manufacturers that you can load into this device. Uh, I'm sitting in a room with nine or 10 speaker cabinets. It's expensive, it's heavy. I don't want to collect that way anymore. This is my new amp. It's great for live performance. I can have six different blocks on this at any time. So a block can be an amplifier, it can be a delay, it can be a chorus, it can be a flanger, it can be a speaker impulse response. So if I wanna mix a British rock and roll amplifier and use an American type speaker and have a whole different combination of things. It's also an audio interface, so anything that comes into here can also record into the computer. This also will control foot pedals or a multi-MIDI situation. You've got MIDI in and out here via the standard five pin connectors. You've also got MIDI capabilities from the USB itself. The controls are fairly simple. You've got three foot switches that are assignable and depending on how you have them assigned, they will show up with different colors that helps you to understand what the function is. So in this particular case right now, this foot switch is changing from one amplifier to another. So I'm changing from a Lone Star, really clean sound. over to a British Plexi. The next one over is controlling my reverb. This control is controlling the delay. So if I hit this, I can tap it and it will control the delay time. If I press down and hang on to it, it will take me over to tuner mode. So now I'm tuning. This is one of my favorite accessories, and there are several companies that make these kinds of things. It's two foot switches. It uses a tip ring sleeve connector to connect to the back. You can connect this, or you can connect an expression pedal, like a volume pedal, to control different um, parameters inside the HX. I use this to change patches. So up, down will switch me through the patches, in the same way I'm doing it with this control. So you'll see it change from 41A, 41B, 41C, so on and so forth. These controls allow me to turn the effects on and off.
wanted to show you something without a traditional electric guitar. Here's the HX Stomp, and it's great for doing distorted amplifiers, clean amplifiers. But right now I'm using a nylon string guitar, like a classical guitar. And if we come and take a look here, the first thing you see is a volume pedal, and usually that's the first thing that will be in the chain. If I had an expression pedal connected here, I could use that. The next thing up, it says Studio Tube Pre. So instead of a guitar amplifier, like a typical British or an American rock guitar amplifier, we're using something that you'd use in a studio, a really high-end mic pre. And in, in a studio, it's something that would cost thousands of dollars. I'll, I'll, I'll never forget, I was doing a recording session and I turned to the engineer and I, I was playing nylon string guitar. I said, man, this sounds fantastic. He turned to me and he said, it should, you're playing through $20,000 worth of gear. Well, you have that kind of gear right here. This is a Studio 2 preamplifier and that's why this sounds so good. As I come across, next there's a parametric equalizer. This allows me to go in and do real fine tuning of the frequencies for this. Next, I have an LA Studio Comp. This is a famous compressor that's been used in recordings for the last 60 years. I was in a studio one time and the engineer said, Eric, check this out. And he plugs in, in this compressor and he hit the bypass control and he said, okay, I want you to play. Now watch, I'm not even going to change the controls. I'm just going to put it in the circuit. And he did everything neutral and the sound immediately improved. It was dramatic just by being in the signal chain. So you've got that compressor here. Next we come across and we have a transistor tape delay. So let me turn that on. Here's regular, a little bit of reverb. And you can hear that delay as well. These controls here automatically are, assi are assigned to the important things we need to change. So if I want to change the delay time, right now I'm making it longer. If there are more controls, I can page over right here to get to the mix. Maybe I don't want to hear so much of the delay. So I'll just bring that down. This control here will bring in a chorus control. So this is the kind of effect you can have with the HX stop on acoustic instruments. Here at Yamaha, we have something for everybody. In the house of worship, whether it's on a large stage or a small stage, whether you're a single performer, a small mixer like this, a guitar effector, monitors like this for doing studio production, we've got something that will help you at every level. We'll be showing you more in the future. Thank you.